Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Like I said, I'm capturing the story of Easter and I don't think I've really exhausted it, so it might continue for a while. But here is the interesting thing. I mean, for me, Easter is not just an event, but Easter is a principle field event, a principle least event. I mean, and there is a multifaceted uh, angles of principles and a, a kaleidoscope of, of a multicolored uh, uh, principles that are being brought before us, a kaleidoscope of principles being brought before us. And this morning, I like to capture my thoughts. Uh, now, it's time to run. Now, you remember, now when Jesus was at the trial of Jesus, three times Peter was asked, do you know this man inside I don't? Do you know this man inside I don't? And the third time he even swore. And the Bible says, at the noise of his resurrection, ah, 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 when Mary came and said, the body is not there, Peter began to run towards the tomb. The man you said you don't know, the man you saw dead, the man you saw crucified, the man you denied, now you are running towards the victory testimony of that person. I like this. You know what? They may deny you today, but the time is going to come where they're going to run towards your testimony. They're going to run to see for themselves. They will become spectators. They will run and they will know that truthfully God has done something for you despite what they did. In spite of what they did. And the, I'm so encouraged by it. So today you may deny me, but tomorrow you will run for my testimony. Wow. So you, so you see, I mean, that painful moment, and I like it so much because the Bible uh, succinctly puts it and says, weeping may endure for an evening or a night, but joy comes with the morning light. So during the time of tears, during the time of weeping, they said they don't know you. But at the time of, of God's glory upon your life, at the time of God's, the explosion of God's uh, glory upon your life, at the time of explosion of God's grace upon your life, at the time where God picks you from the doldrums of a tomb and lifts you up to the, uh, to the mount of resurrection and places you on a pinnacle in such a way that your testimony is going to be for everybody to see and everybody's going to, everybody's going to know. In fact, times and seasons are going to change. You're going to be a reference point. Those who denied you are going to run towards that testimony. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? I don't know the man. Yet you're running towards his testimony. I'm so grateful to God. God will by all means. God will by all means. You see, he says, the stone that the builders reject has become the, rejected has become the head of a cornerstone. He will by all means. That's one of the things. That the, he will pick you up from the, from the, from the dung hills of despair. He will pick you up from the, from the desolation of, uh, and, and despondency. He will pick you from that place. And those who vow that they don't know you are the same people who will be running with your testimony. And they will run towards your testimony. They want to go and see. They want to go and verify. I'm so glad. So yesterday... You said you don't know me. Today, you will run towards my testimony. I'm so glad about that. And I'm so convinced that God is going to give you a testimony that those who denied you will run towards that testimony. Well, until then, here's a big hand clap for you for the glorious days ahead. See you later.